makeup. I certainly rely on it on a daily basis, but I don't think I rely on it as much as these guys. This is the Dazzle Club, and no, they're not off to a rave, but they're standing up to surveillance. What they're doing is using anti-facial recognition makeup to defy the system, taking defiance to a whole new level. Looks like an artwork Picasso would be proud of himself. Well, there's an estimated 630,000 CCTV cameras watching London's 8 million people go about their daily lives. That's around one camera for 14 people. The sophisticated algorithms can already extract information ranging from gender, age and even mood from a single image. And then those physical attributes can be linked to commercial or government databases. And while the facial recognition technology can provide huge benefits in automation and security, many would argue it's a threat to privacy. Despite the arguments against, though, advances in facial recognition are moving police surveillance into a new Orwellian phase. The Dazzle Club started as a response to Sadiq Khan's letter about facial recognition being used on the Argent King's Cross site. And we've spent a lot of time around King's Cross um, and CSM. People walk with us and we don't say, oh, there's a camera, there's a camera. But at the end of the walk, they're like, oh, there's cameras everywhere. The group meets once a month to walk through different parts of London, masked with their camouflage that prevents computers recognising their faces. Well, the trick to dazzling, as they call it, is to break up the face. And, as the motto goes, less is more when it comes to the beauty routine. So, let's explore the secret of deceiving Big Brother. Time to get ready for a walk. say facial recognition will revolutionise the fight against crime and with the threat of terror on the rise, the pressure for improved security heightens. But surely a simple lick of paint can't stop this cutting edge technology, can it? It's expecting your lips to be here. So it could be that actually, you know, your lipstick goes all the way this way and right. you're kind of then obscuring that in a different way. It's been primarily tested on white men. When it's kind of implemented on a kind of mass level on the streets of London, for example, um, it is largely inaccurate when it comes to people of colour. But while makeup like this presents a challenge to facial recognition, it can still be beaten by other technologies, like gait recognition, meaning people's distinctive walking patterns are also monitored. So perhaps the trick to dodging the system is more of a hop, skip and jump away too. Do you think it's an invasion of human rights or do you think... Yeah, I think like we the, have a right the level to, yeah. of surveillance. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's, it's against th our human rights? Yeah, and we have a right to understanding where our data is going and how it's being used. I don't personally feel safer when I'm surrounded by cameras. Mm -hmm. At the moment, there is a very big, a widely acknowledged grey area of legislation. So all of this data is being collected. But whether the Dazzle Club are a small step or leap away from bowing down to Big Brother, they're certainly spoiling the snoopers snooping. Shout out to Edward Stashti, RT, London.